special and delightful day for today. We at St. Thomas Public School are about to commence yet another academic year. Despite the numerous challenges faced the previous year, we still show on successfully. So, as we step into the new academic year, let us be hopeful and confidently move on to scale greater heights. I welcome each and every one of you to Special Assembly, marking the beginning of the new academic year 2021 to 2022. We begin with the prayer song sung by a school choir invoking the bits of the Almighty. chapter 121 The Lord our protector I look to the mountains where will my help come from my help will come from the Lord who made heaven and earth he will not let you fall your protector is always awake the protector of Israel never doses or sleeps the Lord will guard you he is by your side to protect you the sun will not hurt you during the day nor the moon during the night. The Lord will protect you from all danger. He will keep you safe. He will protect you as you come and go, now and forever. Here ends today's Bible portion. Thank you, Jahan. Prayer purifies our mind and our soul and spreads a positive attitude. We now have a beloved chaplet of St. Thomas Schools, 
Reverend Fulman Koshi to lead us in prayer. Let us pray. Our dear gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for all the blessings that you have given us. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful and a blessed day that you have given us. Thank you, Lord, for a new morning. Thank you, Lord, for all its hope. Lord, we are going through a very difficult time. Many are suffering due to this illness. Many lost their job and their financial stability. Many have lost their dear ones when without giving them a proper farewell, dear Lord. But thank you, Lord, for being with us especially as St. Thomas Public School. We thank you, Lord, for all the blessings that you have given us. Not because we are greater than others who are suffering, dear Lord, but because you have kept us safe to become a blessing for all those who are suffering due to this pandemic, dear Lord. Help us, Lord, to be a blessing for the society. Lord, thank you for being with us for the last whole academic year. We were in the midst of uncertain days but you have guided us and helped us to do our studies well. Thank you, Lord, for giving all the possible alternatives that you have uh, uh, given us. Thank you, Lord, for all the blessings that you have given us to finish our studies. And today, we are going to begin our new academic year. Be with us, uh, dear Lord, so that we may become a blessings for society. Help us, dear Lord, to do our studies well in these difficult times. Thank you, Lord, for all this online media that you have given us so that we may study, we may do, do our duty well and we may become a good citizens for the country and for the kingdom of God. We uh, pray for all those who are leading and guiding us, especially the office bearers of Marthoma Church Education Society. Thank you, Lord, for helping them to guide us in uh, through these difficult times. Lord, we pray for our school, our headmistress, our teaching staff, our non-teaching staff, and all our dear students. We submit each one of us, dear Lord, in your mighty hand. Take us, bless us, mold us, and use us for the mighty uh, will of your name, dear Lord. We make these supplications in the mighty name of your Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Achin. Your prayer certainly endowed us with much-needed grace. Now, our beloved headmistress, Lenu ma'am will speak to us. Welcome to the new school year. I am thrilled to welcome you, my dear children, back to online classes. No school is an unfortunate but inevitable aftermath of the present crisis. A crisis is defined as a time of intense difficulties and adverse circumstances. Ironically, all crises are not entirely bad. There will be good elements even in the worst of crisis. This is the case with e-learning for both teachers and the children. We call them a blessing in disguise. School is a place where you learn to live in an organized society. School provides a structure and routine which are very important for your mental and physical growth. So this year we have planned to have a new scheme in which you children can spend your time in a structured and organized manner and within a routine of meaningful activities. Your teachers are all well geared to meet the demands of online teaching. They put in their best efforts to present their lessons. This is a challenging time for your parents too. We can assume that teachers will put their best foot forward. So can parents. Children, I know that you will miss out social interactions in school and the learning from it. But this time, you have to adapt. Be resilient and persevere in your learning without peer pressure and rigorous discipline. This will be good for you in the long run. Dear students, you are the backbone of the school. As a student, you have some duties and responsibilities. Your first and foremost duty is to seek knowledge, go deeper in search of the knowledge and enjoy learning. Try to participate in school activities. Always try to maintain the discipline. Be sincere, be cooperative and work hard. Wish you all a grand and successful year ahead. Welcome you all once again. Thank you. Have a great day. 
unfair words or make arrangement and advice. A single good thought brings radiance and enrichment into our lives. Now, Rebecca Maria Fergus of Class 7C will give us the thought of the day. Good morning, everybody. Today's thought for the day is Every cloud has a silver lining. I repeat, every cloud has a silver lining. You have seen, when dark clouds cover the sky for a moment, the sun is not visible and the area darkens. But it is only temporary and eventually the clouds move away or disappear, allowing sunlight to brighten your view. If you look closely at a dark cloud, you will see the sun rays brightening up its edges like shining silver. Something very similar happens in our lives. The phrase, every cloud has a silver lining, focuses on finding something positive in a gloomy situation. We've all been stuck at home for the past two years and we're all missing our friends, teachers and school. But even though we're stuck at home, nature is recovering and we've all learned a lot during this pandemic. So, even if these are difficult times, we will enjoy the silver lining later. Thank you and have a great day. Thank you, Rebecca, for sharing those wonderful thoughts. Enhancing our ability to express ourselves in English is certainly an added advantage in today's competitive world. Now let us enrich our vocabulary by listening to our friends as they present us with word of the day. Good morning, everyone. I am here to present word of the day for classes 6 to 9. And the word is ameliorate. I repeat, ameliorate. It means to make better. And now for a sentence. Everyone wishes to ameliorate his own condition. Thank you. Word of the day for classes 2 to 5. Arduous. I repeat, arduous. Which means very difficult or needing a lot of effort. Now for the sentence. The road to success can be long and arduous, but the benefits of it offers a bright future. Thank you. Word of the day for task one. Precious. I repeat. Precious, which means of great value or love very much. Time is precious. Thank you, Karthik, Nandita and Roni. Now we have Maria Jason of Class 7A and Shreya S of Class 7C who will share about what's happening around the world. Opposition urges Prime Minister to start free, universal vaccination. In general letter to Prime Minister Narendra Modi, 12 opposition parties have urged the government to immediately begin a free, universal mass vaccination campaign across the country. Impact of second wave on economy not as severe as first, says RBI. The impact of the second wave on the real economy seems to be limited so far in comparison with the first wave. Evidently, the localized nature of lockdown, better adaptation of people to work from home protocols, online delivery models and digital payments were at work. Punjab gets its 23rd district. Having Malay Patla as an independent district was a long pending demand of the residents of the town. Punjab Chief Minister Amarinder Singh declared Malay Kotla as the 23rd district of the state. In the national news, K. P. Sharma Oli was reappointed as Nepal Prime Minister on 13th May after the opposition parties failed to secure majority seats in the parliament to form a new government. Israel Palestinian clashes through the fears of a full scale war. Relentless rocket fire and writing in mixed Jewish Arab towns swell brewing fears. On 2nd May, the deadly violence between Israel and Palestinians could spiral into a full-scale war. Sports ICC World Test Championship 2021 held in England. The 
final of the inaugural edition of the World Test Championship will now be played out from 18th June to 22nd June. Indian and New Zealand are placed at the top two spots in the World Test Championship. That's all for news. Thank you. Stay home, stay safe. Thank you, Molly and Shreya. Now, I request all to rise for the national anthem. Thank you.